Okay, so go grab yourself a notepad or open your notes on your computer or on your phone because I'm gonna give you 20 tips and a goal of six minutes to get through your triathlon in the best possible shape you could be in. So all I have to say is saddle up because I'm gonna bring you some really great information, 20 tips in six minutes, and here we go. First is a kickboard. You wanna have a pole buoy, pan paddle, fins, the short style, a swimmer's snorkel. When it comes time to choose a helmet, you do not want to go out and buy a $14 or $15 helmet. This is your life you're taking into your hands out there. You want to choose a helmet that is of high quality and will handle a crash. Now, I use this Giro Savant. I got it for about $65. You don't want to spend massive money. You're just beginning. Get a nice helmet. Be safe. We have to make sure that we're changing our mindset about what we put in our body. We got to make sure as an athlete that we put good quality fuel in our body, bringing the right amount of calories, the right amount of carbohydrates to fuel ourselves through the activity that we have just done. This quick tip came from me almost having my race ruined at Ironman Blue Ridge because I didn't check my gear. I didn't go through every single bit of my gear and make sure it was all in good working order. Take a look right here at this shoe. I didn't pay attention to the condition of my laces and they had gotten salt on them in the race before. Shoelace breaks. The fine line that you do not want to cross into the overtraining area. Because remember, you can't be at the race if you train too hard and hurt yourself. I want to talk to you guys about gearing. Make sure that when you buy a new bike that you pay attention to the gear ratios that are on the bike for the terrain that you're gonna ride in. Go down to your local bike shop, find out what gears you're gonna need for your riding abilities and the conditions that you're gonna be in. Equipment malfunction happens to the best of them. Anyhow, one of the best female triathletes in the world had her spare tube fall out of her repair kit and get wrapped around her rear tire. She had to stop and she had to clear it out. Guess what? You might be a beginner, but it happens to everyone so don't feel like you're going to be the only one that it ever happened to one of the biggest mistakes that people make is not understanding and knowing how to do a transition before they show up on race morning we need to make sure we set up and practice our transition our next tip is about pumping your bike tires how often should you do it you should do it every single ride. Get a pressure that works for you, pump your tires to it every single time. You want to be consistent, and the only way you can be consistent on a bike is if your tires are exactly the same, pump them every time. When you're triathlon racing, sometimes alternative workouts are the way to go. They're fun, they're interesting, and they work those stabilizer muscles that we don't always work in swim, bike, and run. So if you're getting value from this video, hit pause, drop down below, give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, come back for the last 10 tips. The best advice that I can give you for your race, don't get involved in the race. The worst thing that you can do, worst thing that you can do is go out hard on the swim. When you get to a race, you're gonna get a bag when you check in, and in that bag is gonna be a lot of little things like uh, your race t-shirt, maybe a, a string bag. You also receive some very important things. Your race number, which this one will go on your run belt, a helmet sticker, and a sticker that goes on your bike, along with a swim cap for your wave and your timing chip. What you wanna do about two weeks before your race is you wanna take your bike to your local bike shop and get your bike tuned up. Have them check and make sure everything is in good working order, everything is ready to go, and that's a great time to put those new tires on the bike. Don't discount the zone two low heart rate run. This will build your ability to process fat as fuel, build up the mitochondria so that you're able to transfer that fuel into your cells and be able to use that to make you go faster when it's time to go faster. When it comes to your gearing, in the back, the larger gears to the inside are easier and the smaller gears are harder. When it comes to the front, bigger the gear in the front, the harder it is, the smaller is easier. If you're riding a road bike in your triathlon race, you have to make sure that these right here are intact. These are bar end plugs right here on your bike. If you don't have those, you won't be allowed in the transition. You won't be able to race. When you're attaching your bike number to your bike, you do not want to attach it 
here around this bar. It'll flap back and forth and hit you in the leg. You do not want to wrap it around the back of the seat. It'll flap around and hit your leg. What you want to do is find a spot where you can put your race number around the bike and it doesn't interfere with your ride. One of the worst things that you can do is have a dirty chain. A dirty chain will steal energy. It'll take more power to push this chain, stealing that energy known as watts. So what you want to do is clean your chain often. Understand that race directors put enough water stops in their races and you should never need one of these. Never, ever, ever carry around an extra seven pounds of weight in a camelback regardless because there are enough aid stations on the course. Have a budget and stick to it. Right here, you're gonna find a video on how I was able to do a triathlon on $1,000 or less. This is Coach John, boom, six minutes, 20 tips, I'm out.